Hi guys, so I feel good, I feel better. Uh, I did a podcast episode on disappointment and how to deal with disappointment when doing Law of Assumption. I'm not going to speak about that today for YouTube, but I will link the podcast episode down below. I think it was a good podcast episode. You should check it out. Um, I'm a coach, I'm an aspiring coach, motivational speaker. To work with me, connect with me, I will link my social media and my email. I do not put myself out there enough. I need to. So I'm just going to speak about what comes to mind. How I'm feeling. I'm going to do a video diary. I am on a three-day liquid diet. I'm vlogging. But I am feeling pretty darn good. I feel great. You know, I feel good. Bored. Too much time on Twitter and social media. Um, I'm hoping to get crossword puzzle or coloring books. And color and do stuff. Maybe painting. Play-Doh. Um, I'm looking to feel better about myself, to lose weight and better my looks. Uh, I don't like my looks. I don't like how I look. And one of the easiest things to change is your appearance compared to other things uh, manifesting. Um, it's day two of a liquid diet, but I feel good. I'm a little stressed out about my future. I feel like I don't do enough. I feel like I don't accomplish enough fast enough. My brain is fried. My brain is fried. Overthinking. I don't have enough followers. I don't have enough subscribers. I don't have enough watch time. Feeling like the time that I measure things Things are not going as fast as I picture it would be. And feeling down. Feeling discouraged. But something has to get better. I gotta get better. Really wanting my SP to message me. Really wondering if I, the spiritual abilities I call spiritual abilities, is it mental illness or spiritual abilities? Stress about not having the amount of money I want. Like I'm taken care of. My needs are taken care of. But I would love more money. We all want more money, don't we? And feeling that I lack so many departments. That I'm flawed. That I got so many flaws. And not knowing how to dig me out this depression. I'm diagnosed as
major depression, anxiety, and voices. But I just don't know when I will have success. I know it will happen. I don't know when. Spirit says it's happened soon, but they've been saying that for months. It happened soon. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm like that little kid that says, tomorrow, tomorrow. And it's like, when is it happening? You've been telling me for months soon. Is this mental illness? Is this voices or is this spirituality? I feel it's spirituality because some of the stuff be hitting. It be really hitting. But I just, I feel lonely. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't go out a lot. I don't travel a lot. And I feel stifled. I feel stifled. I feel stuck. I feel so many things are against me when that's not true. Like you gotta fight your negative thoughts. Right now, I'm fighting my negative thoughts. I'm fighting my old programming, my old story. I'm fighting it and I'm so glad I'm fighting it. You gotta fight your old story. My old story tells me I'm gonna be broke forever. I can't make money. My old story tells me I'm not gonna have followers. My old story tells me I'm not gonna be monetized. My old story tells me that things are gonna be hard to do, but I need to tell me myself the new story. It's going to happen fast. It's going to happen easily. It's going to happen because I said it's going to happen. So, you know, day two of liquid diet, going good, going strong. I just got to just say, Carmen. Doing the best you can do. You're doing the best you can do with what you have. Your current reality, you have limited funds, limited things, but in the overall reality, you're unlimited. You're limitless. You have everything. There's nothing that you don't have. You got to fight your old story. Because the old story, the old reality, it wants to keep you stuck. It doesn't want it to change. But it has to change. It has to go away. I can't live another day of this. So I'm going to have to make choices that is going to better my future. And my first goal is weight loss. And weight loss is draining because you you want it to be done instantly you want it to be done in one day and that ain't gonna happen gotta be realistic sometimes yes you can lose weight in a year six months yes everything's instant but when you look at that scale and it doesn't show you what i want to see 160 and it's been a while. The shit gets mentally draining. But that's when you got to persist in your new story. Persist that I'm 160. Persist that I'm size 5. Persist that I have a model shape. I'm thick. I got thick thighs. Fat ass. Big boobs.
like I'm thick. I got to persist in that thought. If it helps tweeting, it helps me. That's my, my, my biggest manifestation that I want is my SP, money, and weight loss. If I don't get fame, fuck it. If I don't get to be a rich sex worker, fuck it. But if I can get married and my husband can take care of me and give me the life of privilege, I'm all for it. If I can be thinner and maybe do acting, cool. If I can't sing, oh well. You can get everything, but it's to the point. It's like, what do I really want? Because I'm a Libra. I'm indecisive. I want everything, but then I don't want everything. But... You gotta make a new story. You gotta believe in the new story. You gotta create the new story. You have to tell yourself the new story is real. And I feel like my mind just blink. Cause I had a thought, but I can't think. My story is real. I have what I want. There's nothing that I don't have. I got it. You have to persist in the new story. You have to tell yourself, I have it. You have to damn near have amnesia and say, all of a sudden you got it. And I hope one day I get amnesia and I start saying I got everything I want and I start acting like how I want to be and start doing like I want to be. It's, it's coming because my programming is happening. My SP is programming me. And my programming is happening. So I will be who I want to be. But it takes time. It takes effort. It takes affirmations. It, it takes faith. Faith of a mustard seed. You know, it takes faith of a mustard seed. It takes faith. And faith is not easy. When you see everybody getting their stuff and it's Christmas and you ain't got it, you feel disappointed. But you cannot let that disappoint you. You cannot let that disappoint you. You're getting your stuff. I don't know when I'm getting my stuff. And I feel better because I talked it out. But I'm getting my stuff. I don't know how I'm getting my stuff. But I'm getting my stuff. Because I can choose to stay in the old story. Or I can choose to say I'm creating a new story. And I choose to say I'm creating a new story. And I choose to say that I'm getting subscribers. I'm getting watch time. I am monetized. I am telling myself I have listeners on Anchor. And I just got 18 right now. By linking my podcast, that helps me get, and telling y'all about my podcast, that helps me get people to listen. I need to share on Twitter more. But I'm getting what I want. I'm getting what I want. There is nothing I can't get. There is nothing I can't have. I'm getting what I want. There's nothing that is going to stop me. There is no one that can take away what's mine. I do not have to suffer to get what I want. I do not have to go through pain to get to get what I want. It doesn't have to be hard. I don't have to slave to get what I want. I have to do some stuff, but 
It's easy. And it's going to happen. I said it's going to happen. And it's going to happen. God damn it. I don't know how it's going to happen. But it's going to happen. So you got to. You got to push through the new story. I had a title for this video. But I don't know how I'm going to title the video. I know a new story. Push through the new story. The new story is here. I got what I want. He's my SP. He's my. I, I don't even call him my SP no more. I call him my boyfriend on Twitter. I call him my boyfriend in my brain. That job I have, everything I want, I got. I just need to stick with it and keep going. And when I feel like time has been going too fast, that it has should have been here already, I keep going. Well, I'm gonna link my social media down below. I do do coaching, but I'm not worried about that. When the time is right, people will come to me because I have a good heart and I'm affordable and I really want to help people. But first, I have to help myself. I got to help myself be helped before I help others. So I got to help myself before I help others and I got to push through a new story.